This week has been a bastion of hope for those of us screwed over by big corporations because after numerous lawsuits, these faceless, evil cunt bags have been forced to hand over some scraps to the peasants. First it was Ticketmaster, then it was Amazon, and then they came for video games because Sony owes all of you money. Okay, now hold on. This lawsuit isn't exactly for everyone. It actually just involves some empty promises that Big Bad Sony made for its PS3 hardware where you could use another OS on the device, specifically Linux, if you choose to do yeah. so. Then, six years ago, they shut this ability off, and apparently enough people were pissed off about it that a class action lawsuit was filed, and the result was that everyone who owned a PS3 is now eligible for a 55 US dollar check if Ooh. they can somehow prove that they actually used some sort of other operating system functionality, so good luck with that. Yeah, but I could almost buy one game with that lawsuit yeah. money. But that's not all of the lawsuits flying around in the gaming space in the news this week because it looks like No Man's Sky is also settling some legal battles. And no, this time it's not a bunch of people suing them because they promised the game would have definitely been out and playable by now. Where's the fucking game, guys? What the fuck? No, this time it's because of none other than Sky Broadcasting, who themselves have a long-standing track record for bending the legal system into their favor. So Sky Broadcasting apparently owns the word Sky, much like the Fine Brothers own the word React. Yeah. Uh, they pretty much refuse to let any moron out there in the entire world get confused about whether or not another product or company with the word Sky in it is a part of their media corporation. They've actually already done this kind of shit before with Microsoft, but before we get into that, let's just set this up for you. Mm -hmm. Sky is a broadcasting conglomerate from the UK which creates hit TV shows like Fat pets, fat owners. So, now that we've cleared that up, let's say again that this isn't the first time that they've purposefully fucked with someone, apparently just to be dickheads about the name Sky. Back in 2013, Sky successfully sued Microsoft into changing the name of their cloud storage software from SkyDrive to OneDrive. Now, their most recent escapades that have kept them busy while they should be coming up with new show ideas like Duck Quacks Don't Echo was unleashing their lawyers on a little game called No Man's Sky. Yeah, this is even more egregious than the Microsoft one, simply because I can't even imagine anyone attempting to confuse the two terms. Oh, is that that new video game from Sky Broadcasting? The people who make Fat Dog Fat Owner? Awesome! <laughs> can't now wait I to get play. to have my own fat dog. Yes. So apparently this thing has been going on for three years now behind the scenes, and I think that it's fair to say that a lot of focus that could have gone to getting this game released by now has probably been focused on fighting a TV station. Yeah. But looks like things have been resolved and No Man's Sky won't have to change its name. Yep. Take that, England! Yeah, <laughs> they're really getting it this week. <laughs> Sean Murray, who is the boss over at Hello Games, who made No Man's Sky, they, he tweeted this, We can call our game No Man's Sky. Three years of secret, stupid, legal nonsense over. No. Anyways, their game now has another official release date of August 9th, and believe me, we have our fingers crossed that it'll actually come out this time. But now you're getting all this money from Sony and, and Sky TV's getting all this money from a small developer. What the hell are you guys gonna spend your dollar dues on, you might be asking? Well, you're in luck because it's Steam Sale time, baby! Can I get a hallelujah, Lord Gaming? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! What's hallelujah. happening? Yes, one of this year's ritual blood sacrifice to the gaming gods has officially begun, and they're calling it the Steam Summer Picnic Sale. Watch out for the ants, Elliot. Mm. So far, what we've seen is pretty meh, but then again, we're old men who are set in their ways and only like certain types of games. Or hell, just specific games in general. Yeah. The Steam Sale to us always seems to be where we buy a bunch of stuff for low prices, things we think we want, but then we never actually end up playing any of it. That's I have a say. whole picnic basket full of games <laughs> that I've bought at various Steam sales where I'll probably never get around to paying it, That's but it costs five dollars, so whatever. How can you not buy it? Uh, if you want any kind of suggestion, I'd say that Grim Dawn is pretty fucking great. It's 25% off at the time that I wrote this, and maybe it'll go lower, but regardless, it's a good loot grinder action RPG. It's kind of like Diablo 3 because it was developed by some of the guys from Diablo 2. It's actually pretty special because you can play it offline, which I love for flights and being in hotel rooms with shitty Wi-Fi. <laughs> Life sucks. Oh. Sorry about the humble brag. All these hotels all across the world that yeah. I visit. 
all the time. Mm -hmm. The internet's just not very good. So I gotta play Grim Dawn burp, burp, in a different burp. country. Oh no. So having said all that, if you do want to keep track of what exactly is on sale and when, well the best place to do so isn't the goddamn Seam Slater application. <laughs> Head over to Game Deal subreddit and check out the pinned post every day because they do a fucking stand-up, bang-up job of not only showing which games are on sale, but by how much, what the total cost is in a number of different currencies, what the Metacritic score of the game is, and also, they have a separate area for game genres and stuff like that. I like how the, the, as of yesterday, which was the first release, they'll have to change the uh, the currency of the pound. Actually, like these games are really expensive. We don't know what they cost. If Come you're back in, in the UK week. right now, these, <laughs> the Steam sale might not be as, as yeah. good of a... Of Pay us in Bitcoin. It's yeah. more stable. Yeah. So we'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, it's what we use, and since we're the ultimate, most ethical gaming authority, it's what you should use too. Exactly. Uh, also, <laughs> Steam sales, you gotta be careful about this. You look at bundles, and they'll be priced completely differently than what it would be like if you just individually added the various components to your yeah. to your uh, fucking cart. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, but like be careful of bundles. Do get your, get your calculator out and just yeah. do the math yourself because it's pretty fucking weird that that's still an issue. Anyways, if Steam sales aren't your thing, you're most likely spending all of your money on Overwatch loot boxes. Ugh. Even though we told you very sternly not to do that, you're throwing your money away. Oh God, I can't help myself. Give me more skins, Blizzard. Well, it turns out that despite our best efforts at warning people how addicting it was to hand over your paychecks to Blizzard, they made an absolutely insane amount of money during the first month of this game's release. An analyst for something called Super Data, which tracks point of sale data from every aspect, including digital distribution, said that, quote, Overwatch tops May's revenue rankings with $269 million in earnings across PC and console. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. In comparison, Battleborn, which we had previously said was going to fail miserably because it aligned itself with Overwatch by not only being similar, but also by putting its release date dangerously close to Overwatch, uh, they earned $11 million, <laughs> according to the same reporting. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So uh, obviously this reporting from May is also astronomically high because it includes purchases of the game but you can definitely expect the money to keep on flowing for this game because there are no signs of it slowing down. And they're definitely gonna be adding more features and skins to the game that it'll keep people playing and spending for years to come. More recently, they announced that competitive mode will launch soon. I think you can actually get on private test servers now, but it's gonna launch soon for everyone and it'll hopefully bring the game into the forefront of the burgeoning esports movement. The esports. The esports. Just keep an eye on your spending, kids. And, and parents, keep an eye on your kids. Yeah. But enough about good news and good games. We need to get Shibby in here to help balance everything out by shitting on yet another game that probably makes a bunch of you people happy. So, uh, where's Shibby? Where is- Oh he? god! Oh god! He's, he's Have you been there the whole time? time? Oh. Ah. Trials of the Blood Dragon is the perfect example of that something. Whoa, 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 stop! Me and Elliot are both big fans of Trials. Please tell me you're, you're gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Perfect example of something that did not need to be made. Ah! Like Ricky, just like Ricky. Don't apologize! Whoa, 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 I whoa, understand whoa. Red Legs! Whoa, 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 whoa! But Shibby! Woo! Is, what the fuck are you actually talking about? Look, we all know that Trials Fusion that was released in 2014 was the pinnacle of Trials games and quickly tanking with Evolution. Whoa, 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 Trials Frontier is the best. That's a mobile and now, game. It's a great mobile game. Oh, let me guess. King or Supercell owns that shit? No. I'm kidding. Ubisoft. And now Blood Dragon. It's a joke. When in doubt, just... But um, shh. When in doubt, just H3H3, Ethan Klein and AKA Fuck Me Up Fam using the Blood Dragon style. What's next? Assassin's Creed Blood Dragon where SEO is half robot with a machine gun dick that grows in grabbing hook on kill streak? What? What? Uh, by the way, that sounded awesome until you started stumbling over your words. Rainbow Six Siege? Blood Dragon? Where players are androids and super quick assassins and slayers, but they still most optimal with Fap in the corner? Fap? What? What? <clears throat> We're gonna need closed captioning for this. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Trials of Blood Dragon is awful. On foot missions are clunky, and certainly not the reason Trials games are legendary in the first place. Twin stick shooting is a complete mess. Stopping to shoot your enemies, which have aimbot like skills, it's not gonna happen. You have to keep moving. Remember the awesome story in Trials games, Ricky? No. No? Well, me neither, because that shit is pointless and makes no sense. Did. <laughs> I don't even know what I wrote here. <laughs> <laughs> Did not. All right. Did you not mind the amount of story added in Evolution? Well, fuck you, because Blood Dragon has double the amount of story. Boom! Once again, it's terrible. It's a great, great game. Do you want to master a level by playing it over and over, Ricky? Yes. 
Well, prep your ear holes and your bee holes because you're getting fed those dialogue lines every time you start up the level. Every time. It should be criminal. Should be criminal. <laughs> it should be criminal. <laughs> that Ubisoft who acquired Red Links forced them to make this game and then sell it for $15. Should be criminal. <laughs> well, should... It's the worst Trials game and the worst Blood Dragon game yet. Zero out of 10. That's it? Wow. Should be criminal. But since Shibby's lies are as long as his neck, very long, here's a review of an older Trials game, Trials Fusion. This one comes from Amazon user Cam, who titled their review, Craptastic. Literally, this game is craptastic. I played it for about, say, 30 minutes, got stuck on one part, and realized I've been doing the same exact thing for 30 minutes with the same exact controls. The game attempts to distract you from the boring repetitious buttons you click by making very small changes in the levels and things happening. Definitely wasted my Dollar dollars on this one. Don't be a fool and make my mistake unless you like that sort of thing. So if you do like it, buy it. The first few levels on Fusion are like very easy. Incredibly easy. Yeah, they're training levels. Yeah. Hmm. I played for 30 minutes, but I got so essentially you got stuck on the first exact point. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I got stuck right at the beginning and didn't know how to control the thing. So I don't know. Maybe he was playing with a keyboard, because that game is awful on a keyboard. Oh, I'm sure. You it need is. a controller. Yeah, it's great. Controller's great. So okay, it's great on a tablet too. Okay, fine. I'll admit defeat. But I love Trials, so I don't care. Anyways, watch our other shows. Confused about what the fuck is happening in Britain? Let the same guys who host this nonsensical bullshit attempt to fill you in. Trustworthy. We also have a new episode of Weekly Weird News, and an episode where we finally admit you guys are right, Ghostbusters might suck, big deal, whoop de -woo. wrong. What do you think about Ghostbusters, Shibs? Great. Great Zero input. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Have a great weekend. We love you.